في ما يصير والله سير يا ونه هو يشون وين What's the word? What's the word, man? Welcome back, man. Love from the trenches. Episode number seven, man. I just seen that, boy. Episode seed. seven. Bro, Episode look, seven. look. How's he doing that? It's magic. Brother Powell. Go ahead, one. come on, come on, Trey. <laughs> Could have got Brother me Powell. in the big one. Bro, how's he? Shout out Trey Moolah. Shout out Trey Beezy, man. On my life. Trey Bizzle, man. What's the word? What's the word? What's the what word? Up, what's the word? You damn. That boy got popcorn. Y'all thought little pump start rapping, huh? Hey, listen, man. We got a fashion show coming soon. Trey Moolah's brand, Love City brand, other local brand on Baby Gray brand. Brand, y'all already know. We finna do a fashion show here uh, coming up soon. We trying to put it together right now. And we're gonna be giving out Stop Stealing Skit shirts for free. For free. Um, bro. On bro. On free, free ski. Damn. Hey, Trey, do that again. <laughs> Hey, check it out though, man. What's the word, man? How y'all been? How y'all been? I know we, we took off yeah. last week, so it's been a while. Hey, B, how you feeling, bro? I've been doing good. I'm good, man. You know, we you know running back up, you know what I'm saying? Put the and, mic a little closer. Oh, yeah, running back up and everything, you know what I'm saying? Sitting with the guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's been a uh, bad weekend. Everybody Put been, the mic in your mouth. Everybody been losing their family mm-hmm. members and um, losing loved ones, so it's been a tough weekend, a tough weekend, but... You know, back here with y'all is the best thing you know, I could be doing. You know what I'm saying? So, love y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Oh, bro. Love, brother. Bizzo, what's the word, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm going to get back, man. Training for this fight. April 20th, right? April 20th. April 20th. Two weeks from now or sooner by the time this come out. Let's, let's April 20th, Cicero Stadium <laughs> on Laramie right off of Cermak. If you ain't got your tickets, get your tickets. I'm telling you. Go see Izzo why, why it's still affordable. You know what I'm saying? Because in a minute, you ain't going to be go, uh, able to afford these tickets no more. <laughs> you ain't going to be able in a minute, man. Us, 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 what's the word, Beezy? No, nah, man, chilling. Chilling, man. Happy to be here. Happy we back. Moving in motion, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... You ain't shooting Love City, I don't know who you shooting with. I don't know who you shooting with. I don't know who you shooting with. You ain't shooting with Love City, I don't know who you shooting with. Who else could it be? <laughs> what's up, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. Uh, bouncing back. Uh, grandma done transitioned. You feel me? Recipes, Granny. Uh, Love you, lost dog. my grandma, man. So it was a it was a rough, rough loss for me. You know, uh, she, was, she lived in South Dakota, so I barely saw her for like them that ten years, and a lot of memories and shit that I didn't get to make and wanted to make, and thinking about how a lot of the shit I'm trying to do to be successful, I wanted her to be there yeah. to mm-hmm. see me get the shit, and now. Like in the chase of me trying to get this shit, I ain't spent enough time with her. So yeah. had to get over that shit. But we back at it, man. Moving oh, forward, bro. you feel me? Rocking strong, you feel me? Finna make this shit rock. Let's go, man. Uh, sorry if you lost me, dog. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And yeah, we got some news too. Nah, man. what up with you? You always trying to skip you. What's up with nah, you, big dog? Oh, I'm we, finna got, say. we got some we got some news, man. We got uh-huh. we had officially added, you know, some more. Like we told you a few episodes back, we got a grant from the city, man, to, to mentor some of these youth out here. And, you know, we had to hire two more people. And, you know, as of, as of this week, uh, my man's tree. Yeah, y'all know what the, the fuck fishing, going on. Officially on the, on the squad. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. That's dope. Yeah, you know, it, it. It, when, we do, <coughs> you know when we're doing this work, uh, basically, you got to have people with you that you can trust, man, that you know that know how to think, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and that you know is gonna do was was required of, of, of the job because the job is more is more than about just a check or whatever, right? The type of work we doing, like we really, really out here trying to say some lies, man. So I, I, I you know, I appreciate you, Tree. Uh, you doing me a big favor coming on appreciate board, you bro. Too, bro. Yeah, so, so man, shout out Tree, man. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. Love City, man. I don't know what the fuck going on. If you ain't working with Love City, I don't know who you working for. <laughs> Pretty soon as we gonna be. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, no cavity cap cap. Hey, and uh, for y'all that don't know, our, our online store is up and running live, man. Go get your Love City merch. It's Shopify Love City at Shopify. Shopify Love City. I don't know that's the, that's the exact thing, but I'll put it in the comments somewhere. That's that's the new hoodie right here that we just dropped yes, for the uh, spring. You know what yes, I'm saying? Uh, 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 I could uh, definitely push a wheelchair in this for sure. <laughs> Izzo got a prototype. The red one they never came out. So That'd prototype. be real. But we we uh, we finna double back and put the red one out. That's one I wanted. That red was serious. I wanted that red. Hey, Izzo, let me. Uh. We got the trucker hat right there on the table. You know what I'm saying? Like we got them trucker hats there. Mm-hmm. So hey, go support, man. 100 percent of the money that that uh, is made off the merch goes right back into the youth programming that we do here at Love City, man. Right, right, right. Not, right to, be, not to be confused. 
Give me a little applause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. Calm down now. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Calm down, studio audience. Not to be confused with the Viagra hat. We do oh, still yeah. have those available. You can buy this one, though, for sure. With, with the Viagra hat is all sold out. We had to stop and selling them. And not those. worry about, you know, you know. <laughs> if y'all seen this kid. That's kit. a damn shame. <laughs> Motherfuckers are killing their girl off the Viagra hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get right into it, man. You know, obviously, like, like? The, the biggest, biggest news that been on uh, on social media, all the news outlets, man, your boy, did he do it or did he not? Take that, take I that. think Diddy. Wow, wow, wow. I think Diddy. <laughs> I think Diddy did it, man. Because Diddy, I mean, I mean, I don't know what's going on, but, man, they say you never want to go to Diddy house, man. Shit. I thought they always want to go to Diddy House. Yeah, they've been talking about that for a long time. People always that that always been a joke for a long yeah. time. Them Diddy parties and now the joke seems to be not a joke no more. And motherfuckers want to act like it wasn't a joke before. And now that it's the truth, people defending them. Man, they just trying to come up to him. Y'all know it's always been a joke about Diddy having freaky parties. <laughs> And then they say he had Usher and it was true. Meek Mills and everybody else. I'm like, I thought, I thought. <laughs> man, that audio, man. If that, if that's real audio of Meek Mills can clap, like, oh, that's no, not no. okay. Listen, that's no, not that's not real audio. Like, oh, all right, all right. I, right. I put the audio out there; I, it went viral. But that's not the real audio. I ain't hear the audio. Where you put it? At? <laughs> it's on my page. It's on my page. <laughs> hey, the internet is wild. So so you got motherfuckers like him that are sponsored shit about. Hey, Trump I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> on Instagram. So he got, so he got clapped too. I'm dangerous. <laughs> Hey, it was on Instagram. No, yeah. I'm saying because I don't know because like they say he had he had uh, Justin Beaver and shit. Beaver, <laughs> Beaver, <laughs> and dudes like man, stop oh, calling shit. my phone because I'm not. I don't want to go to your house Bro. no more. So Diddy Puss, he gotta be he gotta be a bad guy of what he doing. Man, his ass was drunk on drink. Tell us about some. I like when you scrabbling like that, and Daddy. Yeah. And when you ain't never come party with me and shit, <laughs> nigga. Hell no. P Diddy, did he do it? Yes. Anybody? Yeah. 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 Let me hear you get off audio. the sauce. You get off the sauce and call another grown ass man, Daddy, because you drunk. You can't dispute yeah, that. Yeah. Shorty gets us. Get that around that. that. <laughs> yes. So I like when you do it like that, Daddy. What the fuck, nigga? I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. So that, that that's came from, that's cat. Oh, he that. killing that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, he you ah. that. So according to BZ, that that audio is cat. That he came was, from a snowfall, a snowfall uh episode. Oh no, uh, not when yeah. uh he took the money, he ain't give he ain't want to tell him where the money was at. Yeah. Oh shit. But yeah, did he did he, he did but, I mean I mean I'm saying that like no now they said they had all black men they who's wefty as hell, so you gotta look at it, man. Did he know that shit was coming when he playing that shit he was playing anyway, so yeah, they pulling up all the old suspect oh, videos, suspect, suspect lyrics, everything. They, and they, it's a lot of them. It's a lot of suspect My videos. thing is this, because I'm going I'm, I'm to keep 100. I don't even know when it all started. What made them want to start digging into P. Diddy now? Like, what happened? Whoa. <laughs> that should go Damn. way back. That should go, <laughs> Pause. That go five, way back. Turn number five up a little bit. What made, him wanna, that go what back made them want to start investigating? Sean get, Combs. I, I, now. Yeah, yeah that shit go back from um, Biggie Smalls and everything else what he did in life, man. He been dirty his whole motherfucking life, though. <laughs> yeah, you know the, yeah. uh, the the Cassie lawsuit. All right, that shit. So that and shit just triggered some shit. Because now they sound like he got Young Miami as a sex worker. Uh, yeah, 50 the, Cent the, the ex-wife. New lawsuit. Yeah, the, the, the fuck? Uh, the, the new lawsuit, the producer from Chicago, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah. his, they put the whole lawsuit on the internet. So you know seen that lawsuit, bro. They, they, they got they some allegations about, like, on this nigga. Did he shot him off like at the studio? He had some crooked cops cover it up in LA. All type of shit. I done bro. seen one of his uh security slash cleanup crew people was the same security for Michael Jackson. Y'all didn't see that yet. No. Y'all seen it? Nigga, the first nigga that was on response for Michael Jackson dying and shit and all that shit. It's the same motherfucker that worked for Diddy. Some nigga named uh, Muhammad, some shit. Yeah, him. That's him. <coughs> yeah, That's his nigga was at Michael Jackson. Then nigga, hey. He be clean. He be cleaning up the. Uh, That's what I'm saying. So it's like you, in the midst of us finding out you Diddy clean up, dude, it also found out that you was there with Michael Jackson dying. Did you clean that up? <laughs> Did you? Nah, that fuck around. Been the one that gave him the needle. Fuck you talking about? Who Damn, knows? Man, he took Mike out. Man, from man, this shit crazy, and bro. And then you got uh, you got who's this other dude? Al B. Shore said he was in a coma, and then he's like, pretty soon he gonna put his story out. Like, uh, you gonna find out why I was in the coma, and then you got all these people that's like, uh, Black Rob was got sick, and 
it's all conspiracy theory shit, but it's like yeah. everybody, a lot of people that fuck with Diddy end up like dying somehow. Somehow, so ain't that crazy? Theory. Just just like his wife. Ain't like, no his wife, was, yeah, his, his wife, wife wasn't, his wife, it wasn't nothing wrong with her. She just ended up dying yeah. because she had a story to tell. I don't believe in coincidence. And they said Jamie Foxx. You see, Jamie Foxx was like messed up for a while. Hell yeah, yeah, got sick as hell. And they said that was connected to like poop yeah, got sick. Yeah, yeah, that's what Because he used to be at Diddy parties playing piano and shit. Yeah. He used to be at a lot of Diddy parties having concerts. I want to tell of, you. It's a lot of weird <laughs> shit be going on, bro, behind the scenes of the celebrity. You want to know what's crazy, though? Uh, information that I've studied and read and Be read careful upon. now. Be careful now. Mm-hmm. Now, I ain't saying this is my this allegedly. is mine. allegedly information I read upon say like Satanists and people that do all that weird the money they got to do that shit in your face like they have to but it, but it, it's it's it go to show just how sleep we is as a society motherfucker yeah, put some shit like you know how like on liquor or like the cigarettes they got to tell you that this will kill you yeah. so it's like you got to make so now you have the choice so now you got free will to make the choice to smoke the cigarette I already told you. Satanists feel like that. Like, we're going to do demonic shit, but we're going to put it in people's face so they can't make it seem like we in the shadows trying to trick y'all. We put it in your face, and you still watch it and still fuck with it with your free will. So when you go to hell, we don't feel no type of way because we put it in your face that we on some evil shit, and you just didn't catch the signs. So it's like everybody <clears throat> seeing this weird shit going on. It's weird shit going on. It is yeah. weird shit going on. Just like has a lot of weird ass niggas going on and shit like that. But with people that say like, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be rich of 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 down on somebody or doing some shit dirty or or got a got a under a devil to to get rich. I want to be I want to get rich from me being me. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing else. Yeah, that that that's another reason I fuck with Fifty because you know Fifty told the story years ago how Puffy tried to take him shopping and he he hey, took yeah. offense like fuck you me take, take me shopping, shopping. I'm a grown ass man like I take female shopping like what you trying to say you know what I'm saying like, he said I thought he needed some clothes <laughs> 50, and, 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 and shout out to 50 Cent man you gonna be the next comedian coming up man man he heavy yeah. heavy heavy trolling he putting ugly pressure His, on people uh, hey like <laughs> none stop my thing is this though what's weird is how so many celebrities, cause Cat Williams spoke on this shit too yeah. a few times. Yeah. But he never said no name. He just said, nah, he said no. He, he said you gotta say no if Diddy asked you. To Diddy asked you to the party. Say you gotta say no. Like you I gotta know, tell him no. Another, uh, <laughs> no, this, Diddy, I'm good. It's this uh, Christian singer, Lecrae or some shit. Yeah. Christian. He said he was at a party and they told him like, uh, you know, after after this after this time, leave, bro. Hmm. And he and he didn't listen. And then he said after like a certain time. He said he went. He said he went. He said he was upstairs. It was people. Boot it up. That was the free calls. It was regular, right? So he upstairs just regular. It's, it's men and women upstairs. He go downstairs. Da, 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 da. That's when dude told him, you know, you might want to leave around this time. He stayed downstairs. Around that time, he post been gone. He went back upstairs. Said the same people that were just up there just chilling. Orgy. Niggas on niggas on niggas. He, he said they was up there like fucking, fucking, fucking. And he like, damn, what the fuck? Let me get the fuck out of here. So it's like. If I, for all these celebrities to know this shit be going on and everybody just being quiet, because they sound, haven't have been there. It's really none of their yeah, business. Yeah, you did. It ain't their business, but also they said Diddy got them f- secret tapes. Yeah, they got secret footage of you smacking a nigga they said off. The feds got them tapes. Have you ever been, have you ever been in Miami and they show you the, the private land over there? They were like, man, this is the private land. Oprah yeah. and them be over here yeah, and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. he said Diddy name too. Like you know, like Diddy was across the street fucking with a friend. Like this shit is serious. Like hey, the feds hitting you. With a Frico is crazy. A Frico charge is crazy. <laughs> a Frico <laughs> charge is crazy. So it ain't a Rico charge? You got, no, it's you a got Frico, illegal Frico dildos charge. in your house. That's wild as hell. Ah, uh, damn. Hey, man. <laughs> I ain't going to yeah. hold you. I'm, put to the, I'm saying this to the camera. Y'all might not want me in the, cause look, I will tell on one of you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't go. Y'all don't want me in the. Y'all don't want me in the industry, man. Cause I'm snitching. As soon as I see some freaky weird shit, I'm telling. I'm hey, been trees, telling like, like what if you're one of them parties, right? And the motherfuckers just rolling you and shit. Yep. They open the door, just roll your ass in the room and just close the door and just leave. Like, what you gonna do? I'm gonna turn around. I have arms. I'm not fucking. I don't got no arms, nigga. Yeah, the motherfucker don't turn lock. Turn around. The motherfucker don't lock. The motherfucker the door, If it's locked, I'm going to call somebody. I can just see you rolling to the door, you, the twisting door knob. It ain't opening. You look back at the camera and just. And I'm gonna like, beat on that bitch. You're gonna <laughs> watch. I'm gonna <laughs> hey. If I look back, if I look back, if, I, if they roll me in a room what? game, <laughs> you gonna what? I'm gonna yell. Yeah, I'm gonna beat on the dog. I'm gonna yo. It's if I go in the room, <laughs> that nigga freak yourself. What's that song? If I'm in the motherfucker, <laughs> 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 you don't know that dance. Yo, freak yo, you freak yourself. Eat her up. That's the dick. Sorry. 
I'm not. Look, hey, man, I, I, if, they, if I ever got rolled into a dark room <laughs> and I'm in that bitch and I look back and there's some shit going on that I didn't know and it's famous niggas, <coughs> they gonna kill they gonna my kill ass. They gonna kill your ass. <laughs> I'm go, look, I ain't recording. I'm not recording. I'm going live. I'm going live. Fuck live, that, I'm going live. No, so, me. so that's, a, the, that's a, the first a, thing, a, thing a, you gonna a, do, go live. Yeah. Like, Depending on what's back. <coughs> hell yeah. Like you won't ask them to stop doing what they're doing just to open the door for you and so you get up out of there? That's not the plan. <laughs> what the fuck? Obviously, I got rolled in here in the door lock for a reason. So these niggas ain't finna open shit. So at this point, I'm probably finna die or worse, motherfucker. And I hope they kill me. Fuck them up. So I'm going live. They're gonna kill you. I'm, I'm, go, I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna y'all before I lose my life. <laughs> Look at this shit over here. They fuck around gonna kill my feed. Motherfucking phone gonna cut off instantly. Jam or cell, uh, cell phone. Then we did it's up after that. It's up. Everybody for yeah. die this bitch. We got what? What? Ebony what, say? I just can't hear the dance. Yes, and that's it. I, was, I just can't do some content and that's it. They go. Well, let's make some content. Cut the light off. I'm like, ah! That's crazy. Yeah, he did it though, man. In my yeah. opinion, he did it. We did it. Well, we will see. We will you know, see. you Thanks. know. Dre, I'm saying, you know, but, like, I say one more thing though. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if he did it, why the fuck he ain't in the jail yet? Then, so, so he, he running. He not running. Nah, he not running. He ain't running. running. That nigga was a hop skipping away from to get to, get to that jail. Nah, they made it seem like that he wasn't running though. Damn oh, boy, you just, what, what type of throw was that, cuz? That's why he was man, on the bench. Why bat. you got your shirt on, bro? What, the, what you over there doing? <laughs> you in one of them parties? Hey, I believe he won't go to the Diddy house. Hey but, man, moving along though, man. Yes, moving uh, along. Yes, uh, yes, I know uh, this this is uh we were supposed to sp- <coughs> speak on this on the last podcast, but uh we we, we was running uh, behind, but we like let's uh, we, we it's a topic that we still wanted to talk about the whole uh Mellow Bucks and Amari Blaze. So for y'all that don't know, uh that's two female rappers here from Chicago that was going back and forth on the internet. Mellow Bucks pulled up on Amari at a party, whooped her. Uh, Mari called the police on it, got him locked up. Oh. And now they saying like, oh, you can't drop <laughs> no more music because you told on her, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, shit, you got a bunch of uh, drill mm. rappers out here telling Tell them people, you're right, you're right. capping, and y'all don't got no problem with them. Like, That's what she you, said? Yeah, that's what Amari said. Who mm. said she can't drop music? The fans. The streets. Yeah, you know. But that, the same streets that so ain't how y'all feel about, right, how y'all feel we, we about go, that? Let's do this in order. Who want to go first? It's over. I talk enough shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit, that shit crazy cause they tell her she can't drop no music, right? Mm-hmm. That's what the fans saying, yeah. But I'm saying like, <laughs> I ain't got the words for that shit. How you gonna tell her she can't drop no music? Because she told. Like I ain't gonna fly at the end of the day, that's a female joke. Y'all know females really soft as hell. You get what I'm saying? Like oh, down your ass. Like females really be soft as hell, and niggas out here, niggas out here really snitching. Like, what about six nine? You ain't seen about that, did you? you? Feel me? That's what I'm saying. Niggas out here really snitching. They gonna tell her you can't drop no music. Woo, all this like, who the fuck? Y'all flaky. I mean, man, they both right? been best friends and all this. They should been fighting anyway. You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck the one try to do. The devil is yeah. working at all times. Like y'all don't know. Like that's like it's a lot of snakes out here. It's a lot of things. People y'all call y'all friends at the same time though. But how this shit going? I mean. If you you gonna run to the police, then you shouldn't be doing what you're doing, like talking all this rap shit. Then you never oh, gonna God. do that though. Yeah. Everybody is snitching now, though. I ain't gonna fly. You no, know, a couple niggas that snitches, and they still cool people. Yeah. So, man, niggas, niggas are gonna tell. <clears throat> Motherfuckers gonna tell, bro. I feel like this. One, after she copped the plea, at the mellow book, she did her. They they dissed each other on the internet. Amari Blaze made the song. They talked shit on the internet. Mellow Bucks made a song. They talked shit on the internet. Amari was like, all right, we both dropped our disses. Let's keep it rap. I don't want to fight. Let the fans say who won, and we're going to leave it at that. For then sure. you catch me at a party and beat the shit out of me and stab me up, For I'm sure. telling. I already told you. I already showed my hand. I already sh- People need to learn who to fuck with and who not. How is you going to be such a gangster, but you don't know not to prey on a civilian? If I just tuck my tail, you won. Oh, bro. Yeah. Take the, take yeah. your W and let it be. Yeah. People be so worried about like uh oh he be capping in his rap. It's the embarrassment sometimes. Too. Anybody capping in rap, man. Anybody capping in rap. Niggas ain't saying no shit for Except three. And if you and if you really out here trying to live <laughs> why you don't make cap rap. If you really out here trying to live your your lyrics out when you're talking about like out here doing all this crazy shit, like 
They're gonna have a rough time. Like you end up like that. You got, you gonna end up in jail, or or shot. You know what I'm saying? Jail, shot, or exposed. Like everything yeah. in this whole society fake. Everything yeah. fake. Th- you got females. That's Hell, real shit. that's real shit like that. Hey, bro, you got like, come on, man. Everything fake though. And then it's like everybody normalizes everything being fake. You got females, BBLs, fake lashes. You know what I'm saying? Like everything fake and everything fake is cool. So it just people just picking they, they specific spot where they where they wanna <clears throat> ice right, so well this is mandatory. You can't snitch. You can't bap in your raps. You can everybody <coughs> bapping in their rap, nigga. You <coughs> bapping in your rap. So bro. Motherfuckers yeah. bogus as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's bogus. Be- be- <laughs> you are. You been you're you're bro. you made music before and you've been involved in internet beef, not no real shit, back and forth shit. How why you feel about this situation? This is how I feel about the situation, no cap. Um So they okay, the fire songs by the way. Fire disc records by the yeah, way on both bro. Of them. Both of them was fire. Um I just got a question like for the for the streets, for the people, for the fans, for Chicago and for the streets. Would y'all rather them to be going back and like how I got like that do, would y'all rather for motherfucker to come back and do something and end up hurting each other or like really hurting each other or killing each other or y'all just oh yeah you called the police so y'all y'all mad at her because she called the police but y'all would have respected her to do something like to hurt somebody or, or kill somebody like to get some get back like that that's crazy either way it go it's a lose-lose situation yeah but i don't get my get back but that, that's cool but at the end of the day if you rapping like that, you yeah, gotta stand on it. But like Tree said, Tree said, she said, you know, all right, let's leave it rap. We ain't gotta do all this fighting and all this other. Let's leave it rap. So it should have just been left. Yeah. At but the I'm like T.S. Right. Son, nigga, I stand on my business. And she said that shit on live, on Facebook Live yeah. to her fans, your yeah. fans, the world. I don't want to oh, fight. Bro. So now you catch me. I told you I ain't want to fight. So when I press charges on your ass, why are you so shocked? But so, I ain't going to so fly, though, in the song. Fans, like, in, a, in the song, if she sent her saying all that, though, like, catch you, ooh, all this, I ain't going to fly. You do got to stand on that business. Like, you can't sit here literally. That's like, that's like. Was she threatening her in, in, in them songs? Yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking about uh, uh, Amar. Yeah, I ain't listen to it, dead ass. Yeah, it I ain't gonna lie. Song, I know, bro. I know she was. Bro, that's to like one of the bro. I, what, what I heard, she was just saying shit about her and her nigga, just saying shit about her teeth, just saying shit, just, just, just rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this and the rap. Ain't gonna lie, you can't. That this is this society different, oh, bro. You yeah. can't, you no, can't bro, and, talk and, about nobody. I feel and like it's both it's sides. Like, it's like I, I tell people all the time, bro. Like words got power, bro. Words yeah. are power, power, real powerful, man. Bro. You gotta be careful what you saying, bro, because. <clears throat> It's consequences to what you saying, bro. So and they she, don't even know it. She might have just been like, "I'm just on some rap shit." But who you talking about? You don't know how they gonna take it. How you gonna feel? Yeah. How, how you feel about <clears> it? You know. So, I try to be conscious of, of everything I say every day in life. You know? oh, be bro. careful. Yeah. Of how I'm gonna make people feel? Cause I swear to God, I be I, I be holding my, you know what I'm saying? I my words sometimes. Cause I know, even if it's the truth, bro. Like, you might say something that's gonna trigger me. And the truth sometimes it hurts, you know what I'm saying? The truth you always don't hurt. So like, I'd rather just not even speak on it, just let it ride because it's like, but I, Nick, don't, I don't want it to escalate. Cause I already see this person this kind of way. Oh, bro. He might he might get upset. But niggas it ain't be worth it, you know what I'm saying? And but I niggas be gonna, talking when they drunk and they be talking when they have shit. They don't even know what they saying and everything. They be just <laughs> off, off the pressure of what they mad saying because they see more views, more views coming and see what you lying about, talking yeah, about the, and everything. So the, fan, the fans definitely, you know, they say like, you know. Like a train wreck, people can't take their eye off a train wreck, bro. right? You see a train's about to crash, like everybody just can't stop watching it. So that's like violence and all that shit going back and forth. That's like a train wreck that everybody everybody want to see it. It's entertaining. But I want to see people like go at it and crash out with each other, you know? And, and while they they watching that shit eating chips at the crib, but it's real live people that's getting hurt out here, you know? I ain't going to lie. People don't talk direct either. Like I feel like everything nowadays is, yeah, do them. Bro, now get what I'm saying. Like Cut when, when, when you put that N E M M at the end of that, oh, bro, you talking about everybody? Get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, 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 motherfuckers be like, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know they ass, but shorty them, they some straight goofies. Oh, bro, you talking about me? Get what I'm saying? Like people don't be talking direct. Like, get what I'm saying? Like yeah. they ain't gonna say it directly to your face. It's like yeah. they give, they're giving themselves a way out. Like, oh, I want to talk about you. Like, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, but that, <laughs> yeah. that goes to show you, like, you know, they them over there, they might take it a certain way. You know, and they on your ass because they feeling like you talking to them. 
So you better be direct, man. Like people, to, like to people. Add, oh, yeah. to add what Beezy was saying too, and to connect to what Dre was just saying. Hell yeah, Beezy, they do what they would rather see something happen to Mellow Bucks than her in jail. Cause our city is sick as hell. Probably just wrote a song about this shit, bro. Our city's sick as hell, bro. We are rather see a mother. I got homies, bro, that's mad that another one of my homies told because one of the homies killed their bro. And they like, should have left it in the streets. You done killed my best friend in front of me. And I'm not supposed to say nothing. Y'all would rather me kill him. So you would rather me kill your homie than him being in jail and, and possibly be able a, to get out. And you catch a body for killing him. And it's just. If, if you about that life, if you in that shit, go ahead. But if you not, bro, no, nah, man. Like, when do it stop? If though? you in the streets, yeah. Oh, bro, take care of that business. But man. if you're not in the streets, you fuck, were, you're a civilian. Y'all were like, about more about killing than take care of y'all kids. Like, nigga, yeah. you niggas, you niggas, you niggas. trying to up code street codes. Of no streets, nah, like don't niggas, niggas don't know. Shit been gone, man. Niggas don't lie, know. That shit different though. When, 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 when it be, oh my god! When it hit home, though. Ooh. Yeah, it is. When it, it is. hit home, oh, bro, it's just. But like I said, the street code, like you said, the street code, that shit, that shit been different. It been gone. It been like n- n- niggas don't even worry about those street codes no more. Niggas worry about kids and ladies now. Grandma, niggas rap about killing your grandma now. Nigga, put that in the song. I catch your granny. We gonna shoot that I'm bitch. Saying, and niggas gonna rap that shit too. Motherfucker, kill your brother, yo. Real life, or like a cousin that's a brother, like you know, you know, you got cousins that's brothers. Somebody kill them, on bro. Y'all okay with them walking this earth? Like y'all okay? Like damn, he out here freely. Hard and it, depend, all that. it depends who the person is, bro. Like if you got a person that never been about that, right? Never was involved in that. All they know is I'm, I'm calling the police. Like if I got proof that this nigga killed my, I'm talking about y'all though. Uh, Us individuals, I can't. I'm, I would. I refuse to incriminate myself. But I won't. <laughs> and to me, I'm keeping. Nah, I'm, I'm keeping saying, one thousand. I'm keeping one thousand. If you, a you motherfucker go got down on somebody that I care about, saying, game, how would you feel? Would you want? You know, I, of course, I'm gonna feel a lot of different ways. But with me personally, it's so much shit that gonna come into play with that shit, bro. I've been in the wheelchair eleven years, gang. I learned how to sit and think about shit now. So it's okay. easier. It's and different for me to analyze shit than the average person, bro. Low key. And that's so it's true. Gonna, too. I'm a, it's gonna be a list of shit like how it happened, what happened. You feel me? A lot of shit gonna come into play. That yeah. it might not for the average person, but it is for me. <clears throat> far as how I'm gonna move about it, I'm not cool with you walking on Earth still, but it ain't my job to play God either. Facts. There you go. You know what I'm saying? It ain't my, it ain't my job to play God. Like nigga, like, like you know, just what like yo, the dirt you doing, the dirt gonna come back to you or your kids, however it is. But I mean, you could be sitting here hurting everything, but where me starting a career and doing what I'm doing now, why well, go lose my career, lose my family? Cause I, cause my man, my brother gone, my brother gone already. I can't stop that already. But at the yeah. same time, though, you can get mad and go kill a motherfucker. Then now you going with your brother. Now you, your yeah, brother, yeah. then you life both y'all life is over with. I, I I just I just wish people would just like just think about it first. Like like Tree saying, if you think about it, just think about what come behind that. Whatever decision you make, if you're gonna go tell or if you're gonna take care of that business yourself, like think about what's gonna come after that. Because if you go slide, okay. It ain't over, you know what I'm saying. And it I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the hours. I'm talking about like you just you just did a body, you know what I'm saying. And that shit don't ever go away. There ain't no statute of limitations on the body. And you got family out here. You got people that care about you. If you got kids, especially like you gonna lose all of that. And yeah. your people still gonna be gone. And but I under- also understand like where somebody's so hurt. You know, it's like how they say hurt people hurt people. Mm-hmm. So if you hurt, man, you gon' you want to you want to make other people hurt the way you hurting. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not here to be judgmental about anybody, bro. I just wish that like people just really think about what they out here doing. You know what I'm saying? And it all and, and it all stems from like the type of choices that you're making in life, the type of sh- people you choosing to be around in life yeah. that lead to that type of shit, bro. Like that's why it's, it's almost sad a little bit about like a lot of the youngsters we've seen around us like the type of shit they're getting themselves into just like just right now they're getting they barely getting into it and it's like like damn bro you you headed down a dark path you know what i'm saying and, and I'm, everybody trying to tell you but like you're not really trying to hear none of that shit and you go eventually you're gonna learn the hard way bro. <coughs> like everybody yeah, else be you know tweaking i bet the whole wheelchair y'all better yeah. stop tweaking look bro <laughs> fuck is y'all talking about Real yeah, shit. Man. But uh, speaking of going back and forth on the internet, uh, my man D Brown, man, you know he got his own new podcast. Now. Uncle Hank. Uncle Hank. Ah. Uh, to the public. Ah. Uh, and you know, unlike unlike him, you know, he said he didn't want to he didn't want to say the name of our podcast because 
I'm, I'm going to use quotes. I'm quoting exactly what he said. And y'all go check. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't want them getting not one subscriber off of me. You know what I'm saying? Damn, but brother. We're not, we not going to do that. He got, a, uh, he got a podcast called Wake and Bake with Uncle Hank. Go check that out. Go subscribe to his shit. But, Wake and Bake with Uncle Hank on YouTube, man. But basically, he was saying that, you know, we be, we be sitting up here lying. That's what you know I'm saying. saying? That's, that's, that's what I was just talking about. Motherfuckers being indirect. Be direct. No, nah, he was saying no, he names. No, nah, he, nah, he, he got <laughs> nah, direct. He talking about motherfuckers be up here lying. Who, I don't even know him talking about I'm lying. You no, know nah, he basically was saying A B, B Z, and he even threw me in there. And I was I to be honest with you, I was surprised, you know what I'm saying? Cause uh uh A B lying about what though? What the fuck is I'm lying about? He about he said the whole story talking about you was up here lying about everything that happened and then talking about like the same shit we talked about already about that joke. That you stole a joke. And what I mean, I mean, I want them to tell me what the fuck joke did I stole? Cause I, it ain't no joke that I, I like. I told you when I met D Brown, I'm like, I, I wasn't doing stand up comedy and none of that shit. So whatever joke the nigga just told me, he, he said it was a skit, a Foot Locker skit. He uh, said Jermaine had an idea for a Foot Locker skit. Y'all was supposed to do it together, and then you the Foot Locker jerseys. I somebody gave me the Foot Locker jerseys. Then one Jermaine Foot Locker jersey. I gave Jermaine a Foot Locker jersey. Mm-hmm. Like I never. Jermaine, that's, that's some bullshit. Like, I tell them anyone in their face right now. Nigga, it, it was never no video about me doing no skit about being a footlocker. Like, I, I had a jersey and I called Jermaine, like, man, what's with the footlocker jersey? So I don't know what the fuck skit he's talking about that I took from them. And I want him to tell me what skit he's talking about right there. In my face, what, what was going on. Because I don't remember no skit of me doing it with D Brown with no uh, footlocker jersey shit. So that shit was just like, they saying, like, oh, I took some skits of what I did that. That shit bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I took no skit, nigga. I've been doing what the fuck I've been doing. I ain't never like like, like I said, well, me fuck with D Brown, them D Brown got me doing the uh, stand up comedy shit, which is the stand up shit. I never knew no other shit was doing was just skits. Mm-hmm. So when I started doing the stand up comedy shit there with D Brown, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I learned how what they told me with with the skit with me and the um the joke they told me. That's what I like half of, I mean half of the jokes that I do on stand up comedy right now, I do for like, what D Brown told me, you know what I'm saying? But other yeah. than that, nigga, I ain't still shit for nobody. Yeah. BZ, he was talking about, uh, you know, same shit we already said before about the fifteen hundred dollars. You done? Uh huh. You done talking about? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. All right, said, like, what up? Yeah, so when he came to you, he was saying, I don't remember everything he said. I just remember about. Uh, I watched it. The fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, talking about you just taking sh- taking shots at him because you don't know if you want to be a creator, or a cameraman, or. Uh, even though he's he's shooting his own content now, so I don't know, you know, but uh, but yeah, man, how you feel about what he said? Look, fifteen hundred dollars. The man said, the man said you could get him, you could get him fifteen hundred, get him fifteen hundred dollars, and he'll disappear for three days. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Listen, Who which about? camera? This camera on me. This camera about? on me. All right. Listen. He said you gonna disappear for three days. Yeah. Yeah. He say you would get busy fifteen hundred dollars, and and you would, he'll, I'd disappear for three days. Like okay, I got paid and I ain't working type shit. So look, you niggas never gave me fifteen hundred dollars a day in y'all fucking life, ever, nigga. Y'all never even gave me a thousand dollars, nigga. Listen, y'all was in the, and then I, he said I'm lazy too. Y'all, you nigga, you was in the house broke, in the house broke, stressing. Who got that YouTube busting? Me, nigga, y'all ain't had shit on there. I had your password, email, all that shit. I was checking all y'all shit, making all y'all shit green, all, all of the videos that was yellow, turning them green. I was creating videos for y'all, compilations, uh, longer videos. I was putting shit together. Like, make, bro, y'all made 10000 I made y'all make $10,000, nigga. And all I asked was 500 Y'all niggas ain't want to give me that. Y'all cut me off after that. Because you was mad because I ain't want to work when you say let's work. It don't work like that, nigga. On bro. $10,000 on YouTube. I got that YouTube bus. Because Facebook blocked their ass. You feel me? $10,000. And all I asked was, was fucking $500 game. And you talking about what we owe you money for. Jermaine gave me half. They, they got a shared account. Jermaine gave me his two fifty, dollars right? D. Brown was... He ain't want to give it to me. And Jermaine told me. Oh, yeah, D. Brown, you know, he, he giving you the runaround, bees because you ain't want to work when he wanted, wanted you to work. It don't work like that, gang. Oh, bro. The only nigga who ever gave me money I was working for, for real, was Skimbone, $3,000 for his podcast. Oh, bro. And 
after I got paid, I was still at his career. After I got paid three thousand dollars, I was still at his career working. Still at his career working. I never. You could ask your ask your boss when he paid me. Did I disappear? Never disappeared, nigga. Never. Yeah, and then he say I be in my feelings <laughs> over females. Some females really. Over females. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the second time he said that. <laughs> hey, this he is it. Getting over crazy. females, gang. Said it on his live too. Listen, I give him some pussy. With with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> with these guys, I, I never had an issue with these guys over females. None of them, except for Skimbone. That was the only the only dude that 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 I was running into problems with with females because, you know, he be pillow talking and, and he be using saying people name just to get some coochie, bro. You got a million fucking followers. You gotta do that to get some coochie. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So for him to say that is 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 just crazy, bro. Like like me and. Me and Skimbone had met this girl at one time, whatever. She came over his crib, did some videos. Skimbone wanted to holler at her. She ain't want him. She wanted to talk to me. <laughs> you feel me? Like, she rotated. Like, not, not like ABs, you find yourself. But she rotated towards me because, I, you know, I'm the cool nigga or whatever. I'm cool. Like, we chopping it up. We doing videos and shit. Now, we just met. You feel me? Like, a week later after that, boom, she had my crib. Uh, we doing videos. We just kicking it. You know what I'm saying? That was my homie, on bro. This nigga inboxing her. Mind you, we just met. He inboxing her. Talking about some why you over there with him. What you doing with him? You feel me? But I be in my feel so if I speak on that, you suppose at that time you was my I was your right hand man, bro. You called me your brother. You know, I got love for you, my brother. Snakes. Whoa, whoa. You was caught, nigga, when 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 them <coughs> motherfuckers was coming to your crib talking about what they finna do to you. Who you called, nigga? Me. Who was downstairs with a fucking gun, bro? Finna catch a fucking case for allegedly, you. Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> finna catch a case for you, nigga. Niggas don't me. Look like that. You call you ain't call none of them niggas. You call me, bro. So at that time, yes, you was my, you know, you was my homie, bro. You was my brother. So if I if I speak on that, I'm in my feelings. No. And it's sad, and, and, and the same hold on. And the same girl, if I be in my feelings, the same girl, I let Burn Pope want her. I let Burn Pope go ahead and talk to her. I don't get no fuck. Woo -woo. Like the short guy. Yeah. He ain't come to me and be like, yeah, I, I know you y'all used to kick it, but I want it. Nah, I was just, he just wanted to talk to her. And shit, I, I I ain't say nothing about it. I ain't go to her to bash his name or nothing. But this nigga in the car laugh. 50, you fifty years old in the car on laugh crying about a bitch. Damn. But I be in my feelings about females. Y'all niggas got the game fucked up on bro. What, like like I what said, the man. Fuck is happening? Where the bombs at? And then I'm saying, the cow was shot. I ain't gonna, gonna last. No, it just oh, got bro. real. What an AC? Yeah, it's getting yeah. hot in this I got cold. Fuck. It just got ice cold. For real though, like niggas, niggas, yeah. niggas be on on they be Damn. saying what they want to say, bro. I've been quiet. He talking about I want to be seen, bro. If I want to be seen, bro, I could go out and be seen, bro. And that content mm -hmm. shit, bro. I was a fucking content creator before niggas was claiming content creators, nigga. Before I had a camera. I was doing fucking videos, nigga. I picked up the camera because I wanted to. I'm not a cameraman. Never, ever been a fucking cameraman, ever. I just know how to use them motherfuckers, and I know what the fuck I'm doing. And it's crazy as hell. Like, people like people say, like, you know, it, it be a lot of shit that's going on in that thing. talking to the mic, A.B. And then, it, it, like, it like shit going on in that thing. But, like, people like, nigga, because you doing good and because you, you whatever y'all doing, nigga, like, like we not fucked up, but we not, we not <clears throat> short stop, but we not sitting here complaining about, oh, we doing this, doing that. No, I'm not, I'm not mad about what nigga doing. I'm happy for everybody that's doing something right now because at the end of the day, nigga, I'm still getting money. I'm still breathing and nigga still ain't touching me. So, you, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Live your life, nigga. Stop worrying about each other. Worry about, worry about yourself, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's real shit. Me not having a stake in this fight, but being like, cause I done been in, I done been in this space too many times in my life, and on, on like in real life, and in, in my real life outside of con, fuck out of content in the streets, I got two homies, two different groups of gangs that's trying to kill each other, but I'm cool with both sides. You feel me? I'm in the middle, but they they done killed some of these, and they gonna kill some of these niggas, and I gotta keep <clears> making my apparent point that I ain't got no side, bro. I'm, and they both sides, they know, like, bro, we you just ain't got shit to do with you, gang. You neutral. It's all love. Both sides got love for you. But it's like, my thing was, about this not being nowhere near close to that. At all. Can motherfuckers just pop up and we can have this conversation? Whether it's not bro, even we recorded, said in the whether episode, it's the podcast we said the shit or something. In, bro, we said the shit in episode one. However we feel, however they feel, yeah. we, we would still work with... We'll still work with niggas like if it makes sense. We not in two with nobody. I want motherfuckers know that we not in two with nobody. If it be two with them, motherfuckers, motherfuckers been meeting up doing something real. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it's just like 
they put this shit as like as a, a show to say they bigger than it. Like, it, it. Ain't nobody. I don't see nobody doing. It. I, who right out here in the motherfucker fountain? Drop top fountain right now. Who doing it? Who that? And then one of them like so. I'm not into it, nobody. Like, I'm into it, money to take care of my kids. For who Drop the top fountain. Who the fuck? <laughs> I ain't gonna I'm, lie saying, to I'm saying shit that motherfucker don't get. I ain't, go, I ain't gonna so, lie, bro. Who Pull up the in the fountain. That's crazy. We who all working. Who the fuck is yeah. Uncle Hank and bro? Who, who the fuck? I don't even know who the fuck y'all talking about. And then Byron Paul get mad because the last episode. Oh, said, because he really, like, he really I ain't, lost. They ain't gonna lie. Like, I need to see they. they like, we, they, we they, spoke. I guess they got like a. Uncle Hank. They pages or something. Bro, I don't listen. know who y'all talking about. know who that is. Yeah, yeah. All I know is, oh, bro, it sound like somebody <laughs> sucking dick. Oh, bro. <laughs> that's that's, God that's damn. what that sound like. Yeah. You, you want to get mad at me because we spoke on some shit that you stole. With and I was, kind of, right I was trying to come up with. with Okay, maybe he did this. Love City, though. Maybe he I did this because lie. he did that. One, one. But nah, nigga, niggas mad because because <laughs> we spoke on that he stole a fucking video game. Like, <laughs> come on, man, get over that shit. And niggas, hey, yeah, hold crazy. on, hold on, wait, 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 because that he say he say, and motherfucker sent me the shit. He say, uh, the whole team doing M's. You still over there kicking people, thinking you Shawn Michaels, nigga? I never said I was Shawn Michaels. The people did that. The people said that. And nigga, I'm getting M's too. <laughs> Back kicking people and by doing nigga, ain't nobody getting no fucking money, no real fucking money. But Skimbone and corporate, yeah, that's, stop it. That's what AB was saying. Yeah. Is this camera on me? Stop and, it. And Bone just said, Is shit. this camera on me? He ain't fuck with the gram like that because they had <laughs> clapping shit. They just clap my shit. I just started being able to make money on Instagram. They clap my shit. Oh, bro. Bogus as hell. And then y'all just seen, y'all they just seen like shit. the February, for February and March, I just did nine videos back to back, Joe, in a month and a half. They hit a million views. Nine videos. They skin bones. I mean, skin bones, he's he feeling shit now. What's going on right now because they got him on Shuttle Block. So everybody talking about some, oh, oh you, you ain't doing shit out here, you know. They had me on shuttle block over and over and over. Every time I, I go crazy, every time I go crazy, they put me on shuttle block, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to pay nobody in their thing. Yeah. Now they seeing that shit, they saying this, oh yeah, now you, shuttle you block. You seen my video, 12 million views, but they they clap my shit after that. Yeah. Somebody be reporting oh, shit, man. Oh, oh, bro, I, they clap I, I my shit. I feel like somebody be reporting. This is nothing before we transition. I ain't speaking on, I don't give no fuck. Take a half, whoever gonna take a half, <clears> gonna take it. All I'm gonna say is this, though. Yo, light, when you speak your truth, that shit can shine light on another motherfucker's dirt. Right. So they don't be wanting you to share your truth. So yeah. they'll try to change the narrative of, yeah. of you speaking your truth to make it some negative shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, th- oh, his ass crying or he woo woo. Nigga, I'm speaking the truth. And yeah. you know, if too many people hear this truth, it's going to reveal my light going to show your darkness. And that wasn't even your attention. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what happened. Because I was, I ain't going to lie. I, I got caught off guard when he like. Yeah, he said something about you too, Dre. He threw some shade at me. I'm like, what the fuck I damn, do? You know what I'm say? saying? So yeah, ba- damn. What he say though? So basically, you know, uh, first of all, we ain't talked about him since episode two. We on episode seven. He, <laughs> and he just said this shit two days, th- two three days ago. So it must have yeah. been on his mind. You know what I'm saying? So I guess you know when I said like uh, that uh, when I shot his video, I just asked him for a few dollars to go grab something to eat or whatever. He took that as a slight, like I was downplaying him, bro. Like, that's not how, that's not what I, how I meant it, bro. Like, if that offending you, like, I, I apologize for offending you, bro. That's not my intention. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but basically, you you go on, on your platform and calling me a liar, you know? And it's it's a saying that says, like, an unchecked. An unchecked lie becomes the truth. But he said he got receipts on you too, though. Read your own, do you do homework? Oh, so basically, yeah. So he was saying, like, yeah, I'm glad I saved the, the text. So I got to thinking, like, man, I don't remember him, us exchanging numbers, uh, or texting each other before, you know? So I was like, it got to be on one of these social medias. So I went So real f- quick, so real quick, my fault. So he said that you said what exactly about sliding them? And that- basically, I don't, I guess he said, like, I was. That I was trying to downplay him because I was like, I'll take, I'll take a few dollars and I'll shoot your video. Like saying, like, I know you ain't got no money. I don't know. I don't know exactly what he mean, but obviously right. he took what I said that, he took that as offense. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. like, 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 like Dre said, because, uh, you know, Dre was my cameraman. That's what I was fucking with. You know, man, Dre was fucking with you the heavy. And Dre, and he asked Dre, can you do a video for him? And Dre was like, nigga, okay, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? You got a little something. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know? So it, look, this, this how it went. Because it was at, it was at Stilo's house. Mm-hmm. I still remember when we were shooting the, uh, if y'all seen that video, Uncle Hank and the camera and the news reporter, that was that day. He asked me, do I shoot music videos, how much I charge? And at the time, I was charging like $200 for a music video. He's like, I bet, man, we're going to shoot next week. 
So when I followed up with him. And I was like, you still going to shoot? And he's like, uh, I only got $75. So, and the reason I know that, because when I said it the first time, I didn't even remember. That's joke that. money. I don't even remember the amount, right? I don't even remember the amount. So basically, here's here's what he's saying that I lie, right? On this, on this platform, he's saying he told me, like, he ain't had no money. Joke money. So he's like, he's telling me, like, yeah, I told him I ain't had no money for him. So he's like, and I'm glad I, I, I saved I, I still got the text. So it made me go look like, what text is he talking about? So I went back on my Facebook. So, B, I want you to pull this shit up. The screen recorder while you, while you stole. I'm an editor. So this is November November 2nd, 2020, <laughs> right? Here to go. November 2nd, 2020. The screen and, record and, that shit, Dre. And, and thank, thanks. Uh, all right, I got it. Uh, Swipe no, the screen down and press the screen. I'm old, bro. You know, I I'll just remember that, that shit, Dre. Yeah, I want to do this thing. Hey, hey, how old? How old these niggas is? Seventy five. Uh, damn. <laughs> but, but check it out. Check nah, it out. My so age, look, my so this is I, I got receipts. Y'all from you know. pull this shit up. I put this shit like right here. Put this <laughs> November second, twenty twenty. He's like, say less. I just got seventy five dollars right now, but I'll hit you. My response. That's cool. Let's set it up. And I, as I'm scrolling, like, look, let's wait till this week. Boom, boom. We keep going back and forth. You tell me you got a spot on, on uh, 16th to St. Louis. Uh, and the day, the day of, you know, we setting up the time, whatever. I'm telling them, like, I, I got to uh, get off work or whatever. We set a time. Look at right here, bro. Super excited about the video. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talking about it. Because I had already sent them the video. It's November 5th. And I'm showing them the clips. Mm-hmm. He's sending me his email address so I could send him the video so he could put it on his YouTube. Right. And I guess uh, he wanted to post a snippet I sent him. I made him like real snippets with the, with the name of the song. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, okay, too much energy. Some dope shit or whatever. He's showing me love, love, bro, right? So that's that. So you did tell me, bro, like you had $75. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't lying about that. That's basically the point I'm trying to make. I wasn't lying, and then let's keep going. You know, this is all November 2020. This is when we still, like, he was still working with AB or whatever. I don't hear from this man again until February 15th, which was a couple days. February 15th, 2024. My birthday. A couple days after we dropped our first episode, right? He's like, what's good? What's good? I had to come on the show and tell my part. Talking about he want to come on here. Remember, I, this is when I told y'all like, how y'all feel about him coming. Yeah, you know we said come, come on, bring we on said, the show. I, 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 he inboxed me, and I was like, come on the show then. On bro. And then he, you know, he said, keep doing your shit. Never had anything bad to say about you at all. Let me know. My response, you're always welcome to come. It'd be dope for real. And then he was like, y'all doing a podcast today. We was filming. This was on a, when we were shooting on Friday. Friday night, so I'm like, yeah, we are we shooting at 8.30 at night? And he's like, I got a show. Basically, he couldn't come because he had a show, and that was right. the last So, reason, when, last when he just time. said, what he say right here? Right here? He said, he never had nothing bad to say about yeah, you? Yeah, he said, keep doing your shit, never had anything bad to say about you at all. Let me know. You know so, what I'm but now you got something. Now, now you feel like he, you feel me? But he could have he could have texted you that. And, and that after was, that episode right and this was that's what i'm saying bro so what changed you know what i'm saying what changed because this was after i said what i said you sent me this text text talking about keep doing your shit you know what i'm saying like i ain't never had nothing bad to say so what happened bro like what how what's going on in your mind that now all of a sudden we here two months later you feel like taking a shot at, at, at me for calling me a liar bro like one thing i don't do bro is like like, I don't. My word is my bomb, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be I don't be on the internet capping, bro, about about nothing. And if I ever said something that wasn't truthful, it's because I was misinformed and I thought it was the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? So people need to understand, bro. Like the difference between the internet and the real, real world, bro. Real. Yeah. On the internet, y'all whooping my ass, bro. Y'all <laughs> fucking me up on the internet. <laughs> but in the real world, I'm winning, bro. And that ain't no flex, man, but I'm comfortable how I'm living in the real world. You know what I'm saying? Oh God. I got a I got a I got a good job doing something I love, bro. I got a beautiful family at home. You know, I don't I don't need for nothing, bro. I'm blessed right now. We on this podcast, you know, 
got our own platform, bro, and and, and winning, and I'm winning, bro. Like and, and God bless you too, bro. So whatever I did to upset you, bro, like I don't, I ain't, I don't be on that, bro. I don't be on that. I definitely don't be out here lying. Look, when I came home from the joint, I came home broke as fuck. I ain't had nothing. Motherfuckers came and put me on, bro. You know why? Because they could, they always knew my word was good. They can trust me. I ain't never fucked nobody over. I always kept my word. That's why they was like Drake. We finna put you back, you know what I'm saying? Back in play, bro. We did a real estate deal. My homie came out of nowhere. Didn't know shit about real estate, but he knew I did real estate. And mm -hmm. he's like, Dre, I'll put the money up. We talking about $200,000, you know what I'm saying? I seen it. To get me back in the game, bro, in the real estate game. Why he do that? Because he trusted me. He went with his credit, got a loan under his name, and let me manage the project, bro. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So Real homie. So you can't, you know, like, that's real life shit. That ain't no internet shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I probably could never beat y'all on the internet. I'm not an entertainer. I'm not funny like you. I, I, I'm a big fan of Uncle Hank, the character. The character's dope as fuck. Yeah, he funny, I'm bro. You know what I'm saying? So he funny. All them dudes is funny as hell, bro. All of them. All of them. Dada man. My, my people Rico, know. I Rico's fuck with all of them. I fuck with all of them. Rico, uh, uh, what's Rico's character's name? Funny as hell, man. Uh, Fred, 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 crack it. Go crazy. Yeah, Skin bone. All that shit be happening. I still be watching that shit. I still be hitting the like buttons and all that shit. Watch that nice shit, but not liking it is crazy though. <laughs> Yeah, so hey, I even like that, that. That's, that's why I had to unfollow a couple motherfuckers. Cause motherfucker like, watch that shit all day. Motherfuckers like be telling shit. me in person, "Hey, I fuck with you, you run, but on the internet." Because listen, they can't like niggas. If I'm saying something about Dre to you, and you see me liking Dre shit, you go look at me like you feel me. So it's like, nah, I can't like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't like your shit because I'm talking about you secretly. It's like it's, it's a lot of characters that you know. Well, comedians out here right now that. That I knew what the to fuck. The mic, yeah, it's a lot of um um like you know um, comedians out here right now that want the fuck with me, want to do videos with me and then it's a lot of them don't fuck me because just that's that part because you know I feel I don't know I mean because they say don't fuck with you yeah they say I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it a buck all them niggas said that don't fuck with AB don't fuck oh, with AB bro, I'm doing keeping this. it a buck that's some shit gay is here that's, that's what I'm that's, that's what I was, this part I was gonna get to because it's like I don't have no problem with bro now but it's like I know a lot of times people. A lot of motherfuckers ain't 100. And what I mean yeah. is, like, a lot of people can't be like, I, I don't fuck with this person, but I fuck with you. You fucking with them, they ain't got nothing to do with me. I still fuck with you. A lot of people be like, I don't fuck with him. If you fuck with him, I ain't fucking with him. Oh, so, I'm over here with, so I'm over here with y'all. Certain people in the city that's content creators don't fuck with y'all. Now, I barely hear from motherfuckers. Oh, and, and on the flip side, I'm not finna chase motherfuckers and call their ass down for content because I don't need to. I don't got to chase you and hound you down to work with you to get my shit busting. But I, I can't say that energies just be feeling weird. And it's like me personally, like I said, I don't I don't got no for beef. Another man. My initial issue with people that I brought to the internet was initially when I got shot at the party, I felt like motherfuckers weren't supportive. Motherfuckers wasn't. You feel me standing on being there for a motherfucker. The the people who party I came to and got shot. Had to chop chopped it up with Lowdown. He helped me get a different perspective about the situation. For I was like, all right, it's two it's, it's two ways. You feel me? If you feel if you feel somebody feel away towards you, reach out versus just yeah. feeling that way. So I reached out, we smoothed and shit out. But moving forward, it's still just like stagnant energy. And like I said, I ain't finna run up behind a motherfucker. That shit over with. So yeah. things work out how they work out. But I just feel like motherfuckers, whoever have a feeling towards y'all that I'm working with, come to the fucking bro, podcast right, and, and talk. I think that's what it is too, bro. Like a lot of times it's just there's no communication, bro. Because I guarantee you if there was a communication where motherfuckers could sit down and talk, we wouldn't even be having this, this conversation. But at the end of the day, you know, they feel like they're giving us like uh, – they giving us a boost if they come, and they ain't give us boost them. shit. You wait, 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 wasting your time. We ain't really talk about them right now. Like we, we, we waste too much time already. And we not begging motherfuckers we, we, to come we, up we, on here. None, none of that shit. None of that shit. I don't care. We do six hundred views every episode. It's still our views. 
it's 600 real people that watch our shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't worried about none of that. Like I told, like people, like you know, what I'm saying, like I'm, I just like you know, I, you know, I'm not with no beef shit and none of that shit. I'm not ducking no beef. But like I say, but I stay away from phony ass people. I stay away from people that that don't mean no much to me. I mean, like like when I gave a hand out, nigga, you had no hand. Like it, it, it's, it's crazy as hell. How people call you their brother one day, and then look at you like an enemy one next day. Like like man. it's too much living in man, here. Man, man, man. It's too much living in here. Like I say, like. Okay, nobody in a, in a crowd or say or anything about me, like like me not living my life. Like I'm living my life. I'm happy as hell. All I want to do is make money and take care of my kids and my family. I'm not worried about no nigga or no nigga situation about what they got going on. Oh, bro, yeah, now nah, look, the only reason, <laughs> the only reason, I ain't, and I ain't saying that we like begging the corner, but the only reason it kind of it kind of go back to what AB said. The only reason I keep saying like muffin need to come up here because. Like AB said, I'm low key getting tired of talking about niggas. Even it ain't, it ain't that we trying to keep it going. It's that it's constant little right. small shit, and it's like we done already opened the door. Y'all just whoever on that side have a grievance or feels a way about something that was said. The invitation yeah. already been extended. We Come just here. We just replying to because it's like he made. It's like this you know, shit. Mm-mm. We already had this talk. Shit. Like it's real, but it's real like street yeah, but, shit that be going on. It's comedy right. beef, bro. Comedy beef. This it's ain't even ass beef, on. bro. This ain't even beef. Come on, it's just comedy. It's just conversation. The food, food gazy motherfuckers gonna get exposed. I ain't saying none of y'all food. If y'all feel food, if you feel like I'm talking, calling you food, I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying in general, food gazy motherfuckers will get exposed. Money, followers, all that shit don't make you real. So, I ain't gonna if lie. you a fool ass motherfucker, gonna you gonna get that shit gonna get revealed, bro. Y'all know what a house. Y- y'all ever know? Y'all know For what real. the saying is like you living in a house of cards. Mm-hmm. You know what that's. You know what that means. I heard that. Like. It can easily get taken away, type it, shit. It, it like like the desk. It, so it like, like blow if, down. If, like if you build a house with playing cards, you just, it, you could build it real big, but you see how easily it could just. Poof. Yeah. That's how I look at this internet shit. Oh my. Like God. if if you living off the internet, if you making real money, you ain't gonna talk about and it. And I'm telling you from experience, right from having having money back in the day and just losing everything, and then I'm just kicking myself in the ass because I was thinking about all this smart shit I could have did with my money. If y'all depending on the internet now and if y'all getting money from the internet, bro, don't keep depending on it, bro. Take that money that y'all making because some of y'all making some real money out here off this shit and invest that shit in some real shit. I, some, I, I said the two names and, already. It's some real, some real world shit. Not this internet shit because when you buying designer and you do buying cars like new cars and, and jewelry that's for the internet bro that's for the internet that all that shit is depreciating assets you know what i'm saying go get you some real estate <coughs> bro, go invest in, in some style learn about like the stocks and shit where your money gonna work for you bro because if you really think about it it's like you a slave to this internet and the internet is the master and every day you got to get out here and give them your best content 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 and as soon as as soon as you you stop they don't give a fuck about you and like how you were saying, like uh, when you start making some real money, so you know, you know, all the tech companies like losing money, right? All the big tech companies, Google, Facebook, uh, uh, Tesla, they couldn't, they couldn't, like they staff because they they're not making as much money as they were. So what do you think they doing with the people that's really eating off of them? Any little shit that you're not doing right, they're gonna be like. Clap his ass. We ain't got to pay him no more, but we yeah. still got his content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How did you just skip him? It's skip like skip him. Skip him. Like skip him. Just talking it. about. Like, That's why he made the app. Yeah. And, and That's not why he made the app, though. Oh shit. That's not why. Like, listen. <laughs> He was finna put that. He was finna put that shit on YouTube. He had a conversation with oh, Dre shit. and Dre. What Dre telling us now? He told him that type of shit. And, and I'm not saying that I've told him, "Hey, you gotta go build your app." But I was telling him. He put it. He put it in his last Ill. summer. I was Planted like, seed type shit. Yeah. Basically, like what I just said right now, bro. Like the internet own your shit. Like you got enough traffic, bro. Like you got enough. Use the internet to build your shit. Go get your own website, cause that's all the app is. Is, yeah. your, is a yeah. website. You, website. Know, you click the kid, take it. I told him start building your website, cause he was talking about putting his show like on Zeus, right? Uh, so I wasn't too familiar with Zeus, so I went and looked it up, looked at the app. I'm like, it shit ain't nothing but a website, and I told him like, bro, bro you can do that. Man, you got awesome. enough traffic, bro. You got and you locked in with all the content creators, bro. They could all be posting shit on your website. Now, if YouTube or whatever clap your shit, people could still find your shit. You know what I'm saying? And just go and use the internet to direct the fucking uh traffic to your website. That's what all that's what all the like 
Big these these doing. business motherfuckers be that's what they be doing, bro. They use, use the internet. They use the internet as a tool to build fund their shit. shit yep. You know what I'm saying? I see that. And, and, and motherfuckers working backwards is like you working for the internet. Nah, bro. You gotta make your money work for you. You gotta make the internet work for you. And it's it's a it's a powerful tool, bro, but it don't mean shit if you don't if you don't you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. And all of y'all that crack the algorithm and getting money off this shit, bro, take advantage of it, man, because that shit not gonna be like that forever. Oh, bro. This shit changing all the time, bro. It might take a word like they not paying. What if YouTube just say I'm not paying y'all for shit no man, more? Yeah, stay humble. Like yeah. my, fault, my fault. But yeah, stay humble, man. A lot of people, that's what creates these type of spaces and these type of energies. Motherfuckers be here, get there, and forget they was ever even here to start with. And start getting this real big head. But they say money just show who you fuck you really is. Really. Yeah, it don't change you. It just it don't who change, you always so. been. It is what it is. You could tell them niggas ain't used to have a shit. And how you, they act. And you could. Uh, when they got something. <laughs> even the people that's doing it at the highest level in the city, right? In the bigger picture, bro, you really just a little. You, you off the ground. But you ain't even shot up yet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like. You just off the ground. You still close enough to the ground with like a couple bad moves. You back on you back on ground level with the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? Cause shit, we out here just trying to figure it out, man. But yeah, let's keep it moving, bro. Let's keep it moving, man. Come on, bro. What man. we what we at? We at shit. We had an hour already. We I don't oh, know we're gonna get through all these damn topics. Oh, <laughs> we can we can hold on. Shit, yeah, we could definitely hold them. What but we hitting then? So, I, so we, y'all want to smack, yeah, I, smack I, I four off and go to uh? <laughs> man, so there's some shit that been uh been in the news lately. Uh, so you know in Philly, they just banned the Pooh the ski mask. Oh. So you're not allowed to wear those in public no more. I got one right now. You know, so uh, damn. How y'all feel about that? Fucked up. I know you always wear that shit. I mean. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, like some people being like, I'm like, I'd be scared to walk in front of my house sometimes. People got their masks on, like, why, why would you? And then it's so fucking, it's, I mean, it's so dumb because these should be riding around with the ski masks on. Like, you don't think the person gonna pull you over with the, with the masks on, look like you're ready to rob somebody? That's that, that is that's not normal having a mask on. <laughs> it's how you feel about that shit. Uh, mm. nah, look, I, I I I think that they should ban it because now you know when a motherfucker on something. You get me? Like, I don't, I don't be I like, like that ass. So his ass got here. His ass would have been going to jail back here. <laughs> oh, bro, oh, yeah. like, you, like, now you know. You get me? Because a couple times I'd have been the gas station before one neighbor was shiesty mad. They walk up to me. Hey, hey, what's the word, Joe? I, I know you. I know you. You know what they better say. I don't know you, gang. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. BZ, how you feel about it? Man, listen. This, this, this shit is a fashion right here, man. Yeah, motherfuckers might wear it because they might see somebody that they want to do something to or they trying to hide their face, whatever. But this is fashion. But in Philly, I don't know what's going on over there. They probably, listen, they probably over there catching them bodies. So if, if they if they ban it over there, they should ban it over here too. Mm, bro. Yeah, so that's the argument. The teenagers protest are saying it's a fashion statement. But me, you know, as a, as a civilian, uh, that's a good point, Enzo, that you made. If it was banned, you know a motherfucker got it on there on some bullshit. Because True. all this crime that be going on, all this carjacking, every bro, like, I want to say, like, 90% of the videos I done seen, they, had the mask they on. got the mask on because they know, like, all right. So how do you know? That, that's how I think motherfuckers keep doing it because they don't, they ain't never going to get caught unless they get caught on the spot because it's, they installing cars with ski masks on. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck? We go evolve. I think it's like what people thinking because it's like, how are people mad that they banning them when it's getting used not for fashion no more? Motherfucker got the bitches on in the summertime. Summertime right. Chicago. Right. That's fashion. I see That's fashion. niggas. Right. It's fashion. Motherfuckers wear hoodies in the summertime. It's fashion. It should have left when Pusha D. This is the thing, left. though. Why is it a fashion trend to look dark and mysterious? Why is the world so, why are we so infatuated with dark shit? You seen that, that, that Gotham because guy? Because ain't shit. A ski mask on ain't doing nothing but making your way to like a ninja. <laughs> and ninjas is some dark, mysterious ass motherfuckers. So why the fuck you? Bro, that, that's around? a part of fashion. Looking though. like a ninja. It's a part of fashion. What about you, dreads when you put your hoodie on? Your dreads on your face. Oh, I. They can't stop. They can't ban hoodies. Everybody got hoodies, even babies. It should have left when Pushashi left. Trey, how you feel about that, man? <laughs> they banned. They banned uh, the Pushashis. Yeah, we got a teenager. What up? I 
I think our camera just stopped. Right, okay. and somebody just said, uh, somebody just said that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, at WrestleMania, it's in Philly. They were saying all these celebrities have shysties on, but I think as like as a form of protest. As a, Hilarious. Yeah, there's a form I got a question, y'all. Everybody right here. You in your crib, it's late night. You hear, the, you hear your door, boom, you broke in. You can go try to go check it out. It's a motherfucker running in your house with a shysty on. Pop his ass. I'm, I'm yeah. If I had a gun, I'm popping. I'm popping him because I don't know. All right, now look, now look, now look. <coughs> What's your son? No, it's <laughs> really long. So I'm gonna say some motherfucker that really just needed some help. They weren't trying to rob still shit. They really needed some help, but and they ran in my house with a mask on. That's, that's it's, it's, it's dire. It's dire. They're like they they need help, and your house is right there. Tragic accident. I'm exactly. Saying, why, why but but the point I'm making is though. The fashion attire is is it's not it's easily to be mistaken for you doing wrong shit. Yeah, so it's sure. like you shouldn't even want that fashion. That's it, like it depends. Though. That's like devil horns or some <laughs> weird shit. It's like how you want to wear devil horns all the time and then then expect my to not say you worship the devil or you a demon or some weird yeah. shit. I know. I, I don't. I don't. You know what I'm saying? No, where I'm from. If you wear devil horns, that shit looks sneaky. <laughs> your ass over nah, that, that shit just looks <laughs> sneaky. That ain't fair. I don't think yeah. that's fair to say that uh, trick. Yeah, trip. Hey, that sneaky looking stuff. Nah, you should break, expect break, to be seen. Sneaking. You know, just breaking your house with a ski mask on in the dark, and they need help. Yeah, because like, why, 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 why would the fuck he come back? Yeah, that is with, a dumbass scenario. Why would you, yeah, why would you yeah, just yeah, have yeah, a stupid ass scenario, yeah. though? Dumbass, dumb, 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 if that's stupid, you uh, uh Orlando Bloom looking ass motherfucker. <laughs> if that's stupid, then having something that's made for cold weather, the ski mask is for the cold. Mm -hmm. it ain't even, you ain't even fucking skiing. But you ain't even last. But look, either. you could break in my house so without a ski mask. Fashion? You could break break in my house without a ski mask on in the dark, and I'm still gonna pop your ass. Hey, look. So just like hold on real quick, just like my 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 scenario was dumb. The fact that us as a society is trying to make wearing ski attire a regular. Everyday thing we, that's dumb as fuck too. Yeah. So I don't, look, I don't look good with them. Okay, but fe dumb female, dumb ass dumb 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 females, dumb females wear thongs. What the fuck do they got to do with the sky being yellow? <laughs> Ain't got nothing to do with shit. I'm just saying. <laughs> exactly. Hey, this motherfucker. <laughs> it's fashion. In the in the 90s, I don't know y'all remember they had the, they had the like the half a mask that used to like the velcro in the back. Hell yeah. no. Yeah, I remember. So that. those. They oh made, yeah, yeah, I remember that remember shit. Them old, them yeah. old, they were like the foam material. I'm born 2000, nigga. I love so, so anyway, oh, wow. <laughs> they use them shits to like rob niggas, to rob niggas, to slide on motherfuckers, and, and but that's like how you said, bro. Like in the summertime, I see a motherfucker come out the alley with the mask on, like run, nigga, like somebody finna get shot. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I done but seen now it's like you can't tell the difference. Walking and they don't, they weren't on no dirt, no, they just got a shiesty on in the summer, like bro, they was doing that. Through the what pandemic, the with the, with the with the fucking face mask, right? Fashion. But that was that was a pandemic though. Like, yeah, but fashion turned to something else now, man. I hope yeah. the pandemic hit again. You can wear anything, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know, like this, like I say, <laughs> you just want to check before, before myself. People saying right now, like you know what I'm saying, like nigga used to slide up on you and pop their trunk. That niggas is a slap up on you and pop their bag. Like, nigga, I will, I will fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, out this purse, out this fanny pack, <laughs> man bag, go right. yard. So it's what, fashion. What, 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 it's what, fashion. I'm pause it. Fuck that. It ain't fashion. Society dick ride rappers. Once Pooh Shiesty was religiously wearing that, that's why it's even termed the Shiesty mask. That's a ski mask. We let a nigga change the name of the mask because he wore it so much. A nigga had them bitches on when it was cold, hot, rain and snow, music video, regular just chilling. He kept one of them bitches on. He in, now, the, he in the tub with that bitch. Everybody got them bitches on <laughs> at all times just like him. I did a video. That's a skit. That's a skip. I, I did a video like that. Y'all remember that? Now, nah, everybody got Repost them bitches that. on all day, just like he had his on all day. Yeah. Please don't oh, skip. Please rapper? don't steal that skit we just said. Hey, what's that rapper from Chicago? They was like, the they fuck? told him put that motherfucker back on when he finally took PGF it off. Nook. Uh, PGF yeah. Nook. <laughs> yeah, he's him too. He kept his shit on. He, that, well, that bitch religiously took that bitch off his head like Franklin the Turtle. <laughs> Hey, I remember he took it off. It was a nut. He had another one off. On corporate shit? <laughs> yeah. That shit was hilarious. On everything, that shit was hilarious. Hey, uh, thank you for your head. But yeah, you shouldn't, uh, my point on it though, so we just got a little bit, you shouldn't take shit away from people, I guess. You shouldn't yeah, take shit that's, away from that's people. That's the whole thing where like, you got the freedom to, to express yourself, but they actually, you know how laws get made, right? They somebody like nominate a bill and then they got to vote on it. So they went through the whole process and they voted on that shit. And now 
They banned them. They bitch. banned it. Now That's the hard crazy. part is gonna be like enforcing. They said that nobody ain't nobody got locked up yet. And it might be, might be like one of them laws. I remember like three, four years ago. Like you, you know, at the new year, they tell you all the new laws is going to come into the year. So one of them was like uh, people are going to start getting locked up for being on the phone while driving. Damn. In Philly? No, here. Yeah. Here? It's, here. A law, it's a law right here. Like they can lock you up. But, but how many you people know, you don't get locked up? But like, you know, it Philly, might be one of them type of laws. But, but you know, Philly's different. Ban. Philly's different than Chicago. Like Philly, they ain't got no foy car, no concealed carry. Like nigga, they anti-gun. Oh, bro, you get caught with a gun, you go straight to the feds. None of that. It's like New York. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think no. Uh, uh. Well, New I, I York think it's is pretty. automatic jail time. Like, you get caught with a gun, you doing jail time. I'm iffy probation. on that shit. Yes. Yeah, so. Because I feel like we do need arms, but at the same time, guns ain't really help humanity. It kind of. I had a slingshot. I hit a Sunk the ass right <laughs> off. Let's go back to stabbing people. Nah, let's go back <laughs> to do fighting that. on my grandma. I ain't going to lie. I'll be around this bitch. Big homie. Hey, B, go handle that. <laughs> they don't, they don't want to see nobody with, the, with knuckles no more. Man. Niggas, niggas do not want to see the motherfucker whoop with the hands no more. Nah. It's like a bursting like it's like a, it's like a big bursting like. I just heard about somebody uh beating somebody up like last weekend and he went back and shot somebody up. You know what I'm saying? So, I was telling the shorties, oh, uh, bro, when during the program when they was putting the gloves on after the program, we like we make a circle and motherfuckers was in there like. Uh, sparring with each other, man, and then one of the tough like you know one of the little tough shit. I don't do no fight. You know that's what guns are for. Ooh, I was like, look. That's why you can't fight. I said, if you shoot a motherfucker, you might go to jail. And guess what? Ain't no guns in there. You're going to have to learn how to fight, fight anyways. anyways. <laughs> you might as well that that make a lot of sense. That make a lot of sense. One way or another, what I'm saying. All y'all shorties that think you too much of a killer to throw hands. If you get clapped for killing, where you're going is hand land. Fuck are you talking yeah, about? You might get, look, if, 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 man, I spent 1100 on this Glock. I ain't finna tussle with your ass. <laughs> Listen, if you if you don't want to fight, like Dre said, you, you get clapped for, for that. You go to jail, you gotta learn how to fight or get clapped in jail. Funny as hell, they're gonna clap. I get it. They're gonna clap. Or become a murderer because if you're gonna have to use that shank, that ain't that ain't like pulling no trigger. You up close putting a shiv into a motherfucker. You ain't like that. You ain't gonna hit you with the Glock Dookie. Yeah, so uh, what do you call it? It's funny because we was just at the Audi home last week. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Me and Tree, we had to go like for uh, a training with the, uh, the, the city for this new grant or whatever. And Tree was like, I've been in here before. For what? It was uh, DCFS, like child family court type shit. Yeah. And I told him, I was really in this bitch. He said, I was in this motherfucker. I, was I, was I had to serve time. Like, I had to do time. I was in 4A. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was telling them how, like, the Audi home and any type of juvenile prison, bro, like, you going to learn how to fight. Everybody fight. They fighting in that motherfucker. Like, so if you know anybody that like some Juve time, he most me. likely got some. You said me. You was in most likely home. got some. I, home. I, ran, <laughs> I, I ran out of home, man. I ran out of home when I was 14. Time. But I, I was actually there. It, it, you know, um, it, you know, um, that boy they call Spider. Spider Man. He bust the window and and, and, and uh, jumped out the floor and broke all his legs. No. Yeah, I was in there with Spider. I was next door. I was next <laughs> door. That's what Spider Man. Spider Man. home. He bust the window and jumped he, out that bitch. He stole the he stole the uh the mouse part, the, the hard part, the mouse part. Yeah. For the computer. And, yeah, for the computer for the, the mouse part. Damn. And he he hit the window yeah, all cause, night. Yeah, because because the the cells in the audio are funny, right? It's like brick walls brick on the wall. side, and the door is not like. Bars, yeah, it's glass, yeah, yeah. How many and then there's are? there's like a window. So at night, motherfuckers be like climbing, like just floor looking floor. out and shit, like looking yeah, at what's going like on. Yeah, fourth floor. So he bust the window. He bust the window. You know, so they call him Spider Man right now. He bust the window and he fell out. He, hit, uh, he fell out and broke every bone in his body. When they went out there in the morning, saw him in the morning. <laughs> that motherfucker. He, he, like, he, 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 he was he was out there. But I actually he I, died. I, he, no, he he died. He, he still alive right now. He he actually got life right now in jail, like in, for murder for real. But uh, so he like fuck is worth the risk. But I did home, I, man. I stayed not home, man. My whole life, I was like, <laughs> I stayed not home. Fault. Like I don't really like, like me for real. I really don't like the last time we saw that the, uh, the video. I was talking about going to jail. I was actually locked up. Like I, I went from the DOC to I graduated to the big DOC. Yeah. So when, when, like when, um, when as I was getting parole, turn eighteen. Yeah. Though. So I'm parole, so, I, so I, I actually happened to me when I turned eighteen years old. It sent me to the big joint. All right, man. We gonna it's keep it moving, up. man. The oh, next. Bro. Next topic, bro, oh, is, is uh, speaking about fashion, right? You know, ski mask of fashion, designer fashion, you know? Do y'all think, like, the big emphasis on rock and design, again, is internet shit, right? You got to have that shit on. Do you think that that plays a big factor in, like, keeping keeping people in the trenches broke, uh, making motherfuckers feel like they got to have that on to get their self-value, and if they ain't got the, and they ain't got the money to buy that sh- a $500 T-shirt, they might just go rob you for five hundred dollars and go buy it. 
So uh, do you think that that's a big factor of what's going on with a lot of the issues in the neighborhood? Yes, because a lot of kids be want to, you know, don't keep up with the Joneses and that thing, you know what I'm saying? And if they got a mother or father that adults paid for too. that. Adults too. It ain't just the kids. It's yeah. grown folks too. It, it's, it's too about the kids and adults too, like you said, but but most of the kids do that shit now because I remember when I was a shorty, like, I want to hustle. Like, I didn't have to hustle. I had a mother and father on the side, but I want to hustle because I seen my homie with the new J's on and shit like that. And some of the kids go off there right, right now. I'm like, man, why he get the new Jordans and shit? And you know what I'm saying? I ain't got them, you know what I'm saying? So not knowing their mama struggling with the bills that they, 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 she got now, I think like, man, fuck off, go out there, grab a pack, man. Right, but see, I think that's the difference between <clears throat> back in the day and, and now because now back in the day you go work your few packs, go get go get you some J's. Now, bro, like, how much a chrome hard pants cost? Fuck that. Now it's the motherfucker that's working the pack, got a mirror's on and shit. It's you don't need shit. I just I see shorties at the school I work at on house arrest for stealing cars and doing little shit. A mirror down, like that be their cousin shit. Now that be they so shit. How much them parents man, these parents, man, some of these parents like is taking care of their kids, 900. bro, and their kids bad as hell. So right eight hundred, nine hundred dollars for a pair of jeans. You know what I'm saying? And your son still out there robbed. Eleven hundred. But that's what I'm saying. Like people, the ones that don't have it, like they'll go rob a motherfucker for right? that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, I think I think back then there wasn't as much robbing going on back in the day because yeah. it, it was more hustling going on. Like that's that was like the main way of getting money. Yeah, we gotta yeah, put it out there too, Jay. So many people shit fake. Everybody ain't buying eight hundred dollar pants. Stop it. My life. Stop y'all. I couldn't tell the difference. Stop. I never had. I, I, I ain't gonna let you though. And man. it don't matter that it's fake. But everybody ain't. Every, the whole damn Chicago then that rocket designer and every, a lot of people go post pictures on Facebook, get thousands of likes, be a mirror head to for that be day. Everybody shit ain't real. Somebody got that fake shit on. And, and they have them for who, who who post these pants and these jeans. To stay with somebody else, so you know you ain't paying no nine hundred for no pants, and you ain't getting a person uh, nothing on the rent. Right, that shit be crazy. Up, man. I ain't gonna flash though. It be it be really the media though that's really doing this shit. Like social media, like if you post a picture and you and every every time you drop in a picture you got design on, I ain't gonna lie, the females definitely, definitely they be jocking. Yeah, cause it's yeah, all yeah, part yeah. of like the. Uh, it's, uh, like it's your appearance. It's your yeah. appearance. Like mm. your appearance is everything. That shit, uh, lose but I ain't you. never finna. I don't give a fuck how much money I make. I'm not. I ain't finna buy no thousand dollar jean pants. I'm gonna go get some jewelry for sure though. Yeah, I'll probably I'll do that. But I ain't finna pants. buy no thousand dollar pants or a shirt and then robbing somebody for their pants is crazy. A myriad chance off going for the chain. Yeah, man. Take, take, take them pants. Take them pants off taking, right now. Taking pictures with your taking pictures facing backwards so motherfucker can see your ass, ass your pants, booty that, hole. That they designer is crazy. How they do yeah. it? I don't know how they do it. They do it though. They nigga be <laughs> stand up for sure. <laughs> Yo, feet stink right now. We all was trying to. We all was trying to not say nothing. We was. I, they told me not to say shit. I'm gonna say. It. Yo, feet stink, yeah. man. Yo, feet stink. Like the penetrating <laughs> shower Yo, shoes. Yo, feet smell like shit and breath. Shower with the the in their room. Hey, Drake, close up, close up on my feet, man. Get close up on my feet, man. <coughs> you gonna see a pocket. designer night tree hold my pocket. It's a pungent these, aroma designer coming from the night. You don't give a fuck about how he look. Yeah, he don't. Okay. He, he don't care at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm still gonna get bitches. But no, that's an illusion. We talked about that shit the last podcast. I was in elementary high school. Nah, I want fresh as hell, but clapping shit. I ain't need yeah. that shit. So yeah, motherfucker, motherfucker, you motherfucker, think, motherfucker think you need that shit. That shit is a lie. <laughs> it look good, though. It look you good, you got into boxing because they used to chase your ass home. <laughs> <laughs> they get his light skin in there. You chase your ass home from eighth grade. <laughs> he start whooping shit. It's yeah, all, um, I start beating It's shit. all running. Hey, it's crazy. Design the clothes is not going to unlame you. Like, if it ain't. Lame, you got <laughs> yeah. to get lame with some designer yeah. on. And on the internet, it's hard to tell because it's just a yeah. picture. You it's got, hard oh, to damn. tell. Like, that that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, the internet is pretend, bro. The internet is pretend. I like, ain't going to fly, if though. If you can't afford no real, real, you know what I'm saying, shit like that, you can come get some on Baby Girl. I ain't going to lie, then. <laughs> or some Love City. <laughs> when that song came out. Of, or some Freeman clothes for the yeah, fraction bro. of the clothes. Or some Freeman shit, yes, sir. When that song, when that song oh, came out. Shit. What song you talking about? Is I just fuck your bitch and some Gucci and flip flops. Nike flip flops. I yeah. over needed the Gucci legs, though. I that's what I'm saying. To. Influence the rappers. Yeah, rappers yeah. got all this definitely, influence, and they definitely. saying you gotta have that drip on right. or put that shit on. So I'm for like, I gotta have it, or I'm not nothing. It got me it's my up. birthday. I need to go drop this Dior mics. I mean Dior shoe, Amiri jean. Yeah, so so life so, ain't so, no shit. so if future, it, cause the song was raw. <laughs> if he would have been like, I just fuck your bitch in a mini uh strip skirt. Would you buy a script I'm skirt? I'm going to get that script skirt to fuck your bitch. <laughs> man, fuck, not even that. You saw, 
You see all these motherfuckers <laughs> wearing skirts now, bro. Yeah. Young Thug put that skirt on, it was over with. Now, LeBron, now, LeBron James, now, his, now his fashion influencers on Instagram, I stay seeing these motherfucking random people that just famous for putting clothes on. I seen Lil Get ready with me. They getting paid, putting though. On skirts. They getting paid, though. Like, they get paid for that. I seen, that. that. I seen Lil Dirt with two skateboards broken on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> that's fashion. That was that's, for, that's, that was that's, that's a level. For the, I think that was yeah, a protest. Yeah, that was protest too. Killed. But but that's some of this fashion shit is a level that we don't even fucking understand. To be I, honest, I, 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 I don't it's almost like that abstract art shit. All right, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'd rather stay out the fashion. Is, shit. This is I'm art. Good. When it's yeah, just, yeah. it'll just be. A I just want some money. You can have that shit. I walk around naked, man. That's fashion. That's fashion. But you seen them fashion shows? Adam and Eve. I just seen a fashion show where these motherfuckers is inside balloons. I swear to God, they pop the balloon mm. from the outside and it deflate and turn into a dress on the person that's, that's inside. That's shit wrong. And then they walking with that. You like you walk around with a big ass rubber thing on you. Like a fucking shit. condom. I just want some clean. Uh, what the fuck? Walking like, Trojan. I feel like the fashion world. Hey, it is what it is. White people needed something, bro. I white people didn't he, have oh, shit. Oh, he ain't white. What? I'm pointing to the camera. <laughs> I pointed to the damn camera, bro. Uh, <laughs> White motherfuckers needed something though, bro. They ain't had shit. I mean, I guess they got classical music. That shit ass. But they ain't really had shit, so they made the fashion industry where they make clothes and it's like the clothes be fucking ass, bro. They made monkey wrench too. Monkey wrench, that's a clothing line? Nah, but so a black person is. discovered a wrench and a white person took it away from the black person put monkey in front of it and now it's called a monkey wrench. Listen, if, if y'all do y'all research, <laughs> I'll just look at the camera. You know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna do that because I don't want us to get you feel me. So I ain't gonna do that. But yeah, most of the fashion. Look at white, white people lips and look at monkey saying, lips, and you tell fashion me. Fashion designers, we going, we going left. But I'm just saying, is. like, right, the fashion world is mostly a white dominated industry. Yeah, they needed yeah. something, bro, because they don't got shit. For what no, that no, shit got to do with the trenches, no though? Culture. We we going on topic. What you got to do with the trenches shit? We talking about fashion designer people in the trenches. That's nothing too. All design is is a white motherfucker last name. Yeah. And motherfuckers is dying, stealing, and killing for that shit. For somebody last name, I what need some, know about that on, some right. Gucci. On that, on, on that on Baby Gray. On Love Baby City Gray. With the red hearts on it, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. That's that. That's I, that. I, I seen it. I seen it. Hey, seen let me get 360 it. for the camera, cuz. Yeah, man. I, 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 I ain't do no 360. Man, half y'all. <laughs> real quick, too. Half y'all that's homophobic. The people that's homophobic in the trenches, in the streets, half of the designers that make the design and close y'all web be zesty. Wait, right. what? It's hella motherfuckers in the trenches that's you homophobic. Support? That's homophobic. They don't fuck with gay people, but uh, they bad designer not support? knowing that the average designer be gay. So you wearing clothes with hey, a gay person. Hey, hey, don't you say that one. You on, I ain't I'm gay. Not gay. I'm not bashing. I seen Lil City make his stuff so hard. I went home and put some hard on my shit. And I'm just saying. Zesty, you know well, what I mean? I, I ain't zesty, man. I'm I ain't sexy. talking about you, big homie. <laughs> I'm sexy, bro, man. Zesty. Big homie. Robin, I remember Robin Jeans was a thing at one point. The, yeah. the designer is zesty. And it's like uh, you sparkly think about booty. It, spark. All right, well. So just yeah, think, about that. Go. think about that moving forward. <laughs> you're right. a designer, you're wearing zesty clothes. That's cool. All right, before we wrap it up, man. Uh hey, y'all see that bridge? That bridge that oh, yeah. yeah, I seen that shit on Simpsons. No, just, she was on just, The Simpsons. They be yeah, mad. They man. predicted that again. No, they predicted that, that shit. Right? They be drawing that shit. They see it. It's a lost some brain cells. No, bro, I watched that, bro. I watched that when I was a shorty. I ain't never seen and it. Then, and then, and, bro, and then they made the other one when they put the when they put the big old dome around <laughs> the whole little community. The whole yeah, city. bro, they that. made. Bro, I was like in seventh grade. I what never seen that with the boat. The boat. Oh. Oh. The boat. I they had, they made the boat too. I watched all the senses when well, I was what's sure. the Park got to do with anything. <laughs> no, I was just saying that's gonna happen next. Y'all just gonna y'all happen. wait. Yeah, I see how they did Trump. That's what they wrong. say. They say it was bums on each team when it when it when it when it went under there. The, the boat went under. There. They say it was bums going off. That That's just be some conspiracy. Did people, uh, they might did heard it though. They did. People they did hear it. Say they heard some shit. It's like they saying boom, the, blowing uh, up. Boom, boom. The, the, uh, the Katrina the, shit. The, the Twin Towers. The yeah, blew up before. Blew up before the helicopter hit it. It was always a conspiracy. Man. I mean, plan I shit. believe in conspiracies. I swear to God. Nah, I we we paying lie. for water. We I paying see. for fruits and vegetables. That's a conspiracy right there. So I believe anything. That's different. I thought that was free. It's supposed to be. It is. If you steal it, it's supposed to be though. Can't no human tell you water costs shit. They ain't, we ain't make water. They got to filter that shit. They're going to charge you for it. So right. what? Go drink it out the, uh, out the lake then. Look, it's I got the power to do that, but you're going to charge me. Who are you to charge it's me? It's raining for right now. That shit costs. It don't. It costs to turn the lights on to turn the machine on. It don't. We make the cost. 
How? Because we made everything have a price. Humans created price. Yeah, you got to clean water or rock. Think about that shit, bro. Humans created price. Said. Nothing had a price. We didn't have to make shit cost nothing. All this shit is scam. We created the shit. It's it is. Who making the? Who the richest motherfucker? Oh, go we gonna go Cuba left. Then. Go live in Cuba. My question: Why yeah, it was no. so expensive? This is it, I ain't gonna get off topic. I was gonna say why it's expensive. It's My thing about the like bridge though: Why that motherfucker fell so easy? Like that motherfucker must have been hard. really fucking old, right. bro. Man, you know, that shit you know, felt like paper oh, clips hey, or some you know, shit. It's because when you look at the boat on TV, you don't, you can't, you can't see how big it really is, bro. You no, know that's the, a big ass boat. You know them, uh, the containers that that's on the big wheel trucks. Yeah, bro, there's like bitch, bitch, two up. thousand, three thousand of them bitches on the boat, man. So imagine like One three, four boats. thousand semi trucks just floating in the water. To, plus, with the boat weigh, yeah, and just hit that shit, boom. Nah, I'm like, peep, I'm peeping, but I'm just saying like, imagine the, that you just sitting there, the, the, the infrastructure of the bridge was just ready to give out anyway, basically, because that shit just fell like it wasn't. It, it wasn't, hit that part. It boom, wasn't designed to get. Just, it wasn't designed to get hit by a big ass boat like that. Type you know what shit. I'm saying? That makes sense. Why well, they ain't turn the boat around? What the it lost power. It lost power. Yep. Y'all also heard that uh, I heard too. Keep keep the six Y'all on. Y'all know them. TikTok be telling. Keep the six on them. TikTok, the motherfucker on TikTok gonna tell some conspiracies. Man, they connected the motherfucking lady who owned the boat. <laughs> motherfuckers make all type of conspiracies for everything. Bro. But now that's what I'm saying. It don't be conspiracy. That and they be they, having nuggets though. You be like word because it be coincidence that you just connect. Right. right. And it that's the conspiracy. That's what I'm saying. They be because the lady who be like, boat, mm, she like, died. She passed for for some reason. And then some other shit happened. Basically, it's a conspiracy around the boat. People that own the boat in the city or some weird shit. But uh, no. Yeah, Did so anybody die? Nobody died. Yeah. What you mean, bro? Damn, I didn't know. I don't Four know. people died. Oh, rest up. Four of my my Latino brothers died, man. Rest in peace to them brothers. It was man. it was a uh, 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 like a Mexican, a couple Ecuadorians. Uh, Alejandro. They was in there. They was on the working on the uh, on on the bridge, putting up potholes and shit. And I guess. Oh, then they they're saying, on the bridge working. Oh, that's yeah. Fucked. So, that's so then up, they bro. said like the uh, the driver of the boat, he actually helped save a lot of lives because like he he didn't he didn't panic. Like, he did everything he was supposed to do. He was calling motherfuckers like, "Hey, we about to crash into this thing. Get everybody off the bridge." A lot of people made it off the bridge. You know what I'm saying? They was actually on in they in their vehicles trying to get off the bridge when it fell in the water. You know what I'm saying? And they mm-hmm. passed away. And so like. What you call yeah, R.I.P. to them and their yeah, families, man. So condolences yeah. to those families, man. Sorry for y'all lost. I can't. I can't ain't imagine business, that shit, boy. Ain't tomorrow building a bridge already again. Hey, I, I, I ain't it's gonna, gonna take like ten years. God. It's gonna take like ten years. I be years. scared. I used to be scared as hell going over the bridge going downtown. I'm mean, everything I love. Me too. But they say they, I hate that they, shit. They, they giving. <laughs> I be scared as hell. They giving them the money up front though. Yeah, yeah, but it's gonna take them like ten years to rebuild. They got remember they got to go back in the water. Make the motherfucking thing wherever it's the stand and. That y'all ever take the Skyway That's to the Indiana? That mother, that bridge is a little scary. Yeah. It's kind of high. It's ass here, the one with the, and with, it's with, starting with to look the, ragged. Yeah, like, yeah. With, with the fight, it's with the over fight. the water and shit. The, no, uh, it's just over like it's on property. Property, it's ass yeah. Here. No, you I never took never, the Skyway to Indiana? Indiana. I don't go to Indiana. Damn, you need to get. You never been to the joint, bro? Hell no, I ain't never been to the joint. Oh, yeah, I roll joint. Can we come back from the joint? You come back from that one for that's where they come back in. <laughs> hey, hell no, I ain't going to. Bro, that motherfucker is high. Know, it got to be like at least. It's, it's like 500 Like 10, feet. 15 stories high. Yeah, that bitch high. That you look down, up. you see the whole south side. The whole the south side <laughs> and the whole Indiana. And you see the casino and everything. Man, I, I do it. I got on a plane. I ain't fuck with that yeah. shit. I was scared as fuck getting on a plane. I still take that motherfucker instead of going the regular the expressway. Can I drive? Yeah, hand control. Man, so man, look, man. <laughs> that's a wrap. Episode number seven. Hey, listen, man, like and subscribe. I should have said that shit at the beginning. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's run these views up. Share this shit with one of your share friends. Shit, man. Hey, we just trying to do something positive out here, man. DM us topics. If we mention topics you feel like we should talk about, DM that shit. If you want me to personally roast your Baby, friend, I your family, your motherfucker, this nigga don't. Got this money on my mind. How that be at the, uh, at the, uh, the time, what that shit snatch. called? Oh, the Apollo yeah, Forks, the war show. The Apollo when they come grab you off the stage. Your speech, they cut the music on. Got it on my head. Yeah, AB, hit that shit, AB. I know my Fredo game members. Yeah, Sirsky. Yeah, shit, I know my freaky game members. You want me to roast the motherfuckers? You ain't from the love city. I don't know who you shooting with. Man, goddamn. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs>